21. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to break down the Royal Marines push-up test. If this video gets over 200 likes, I will be continuing this as a series, going into the sit-up test, the bleep test, and the PJFT, if you want me to. So give this video a like, and I'll continue the series. So first of all, to give you some context around what the push-up test actually involves, the Royal Marines push-up test is a little bit different to other services, other military tests. Okay, we can't just bang out all the push-ups that we want to do in one set as fast as we can. There's a little bit of parameter that dictates how fast you can move. So the bleep test, which I'll put the audio for in the description below, is a set of bleeps basically every two seconds that continues all the way up to 60 reps. 60 reps is the highest score possible on the push-up test and so you're doing push-ups effectively for every two seconds for 60 reps, so around two minutes. So bear that in mind that I'll become pertinent later on in the video. I'll insert a clip of me doing the push-up test here. There would have been one at the start of the video as well, but you can get an idea of how fast and slow the movement is and how we have to move through the push-up test. One, down and up. Two, three. This does make a pretty significant dis difference in terms of how we move through the test and how many reps we can actually get out. If you were just banging reps out as fast as you can, you're going to be able to get more versus doing it this way, it's a little bit tougher. We're gonna to break this video into two parts. First part is muscular endurance, how to improve that. Second part is gonna be positional strength. And the third part is gonna be technique. Part number one then, we'll go through muscular endurance, how to improve that for the push-up test. So clearly push-ups involve pretty much three muscles, okay? They're gonna be the tricep, the shoulder, the front of your shoulder, and the chest, okay? So we need those muscles to be firing all cylinders, needs to be strong throughout those, those muscles and throughout the range of horizontal pressing to make the push-up test possible and to make it easier to get into higher rep ranges. Obviously, specificity is key. So doing push-ups to improve your push-ups is gonna be the number one thing, but we're gonna go through a few accessories that we can use in order to strengthen those muscles for the push-up test itself. So first of all is the dumbbell floor press. Video will be here. Dumbbell floor press is a great movement to mimic that horizontal pressing motion and to strengthen the chest and the triceps throughout that range. The next accessory movement then is gonna be the dumbbell skull crusher. So getting some dumbbells nice and heavy and hitting, hitting the skull crushers. Again, gonna be strengthening that long head of the tricep, meaning that when we're extending and trying to hit full extension on the push-up, it's a little bit easier um, and we can get a little bit further into the test with stronger triceps. There are the accessory movements then. In terms of the actual push-up itself, obviously we need to be training that in order to get better at this test. So I'll give you two training methodologies now to use for improving your push-ups. So the first method is gonna be not using the bleep, and the second method, we're gonna actually utilize the bleep, okay? Obviously, like I say, specificity, we need to train as the test is gonna be. But first of all, we're gonna just train the push-up on its own without any beep. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit a drop set similar to my last video, the pull-up test, okay? We're gonna hit a drop set. So you're gonna hit a maximum set of push-ups with a deficit, meaning your hands are on something so you can get that extra range of motion. We're gonna hit a maximum set of push-ups within two reps of failure. So all that means is I'm gonna go all the way to failure minus two reps. So I still had two reps left in the tank. I'm then gonna shake my arms out, 15 seconds rest. Then you're gonna go back in, no deficit this time, and you're gonna pump out as many reps as you can within two reps of failure. A little theme emerging here. We're then gonna take you onto an elevated surface, so an incline push-up if you like, uh, and we're gonna bang out the same. However, this time, third time through, we're gonna go all the way to failure. So it's a bit of a mechanical drop set. We're decreasing range of motion on the first one and then decreasing load on the second drop. We're gonna hit just under failure on the first two and then complete failure on the last one. You're gonna wanna rest two to three minutes and repeat that two to three times, okay? Doing that a few times a week is gonna 100% boost your push-up score. Okay, next one then and finally for the actual test itself, what I'm gonna do is test my max reps to the beep so let's use me as an example. My max reps to the BP is 60 reps. What we're gonna do is take percentages of that and work up just like you would with any other strength movement like the squat or the deadlift, whatever it is. So I'm gonna take, first of all, 50% of my max reps, which is 30 reps. I'm then gonna hit three sets of 30 reps. That's my 50%. That's week one. We're gonna do that to the beep, okay? Emulating all the same sort of circumstances as on test day. 
So we're going to go three sets of 30 week one. Week two, we might add three reps. Okay, that's 1% ish. Maths isn't a strong suit. So we're going to add three reps and the, the, the one week. Then the second week, we're going to add three reps. So by kind of week four or five of this, we're going to hit, be hitting three sets of 42 push ups, okay? That's a really good number. Obviously, your number is going to be different depending on your max set. But this means this progression is nice and scalable and you can do it whatever level you're at. Just take your max set and times it by 0 0.5 and then you'll have your reps per set. Okay, that's muscular endurance pushed to the side. Now we're going to go through positional strength. Positional strength for the Royal Marines push up test specifically is massively important okay this can't be overstated like i said before we're doing a push-up every two seconds for 60 reps if we're going to max out that's two minutes of holding a plank position so the secondary failure point rather than just the pushing strength is the actual positional strength we've got to hold there's no bowing as in we can't drop our hips at any point in the test we can't push our bum to the air at any point in the test stop your excuses so the entire time we have to remain rigid which means aside from being being good at push-ups and having to do having good push pushing strength you also have to be able to hold a two minute plank which is fine but you need to be able to tra train that and, and make sure that that is the case so training your core and training the plank itself is going to be massive for this making sure you're training the plank through a little bit of range all i mean by that is doing something like a plank walk up so you're going to start on your forearms and you're going to walk up to the top of the push-up position and walk back down you can do that for time or you can do that for reps that's going to build some good strength both through the triceps with the press up and through the core with holding that that tight position making sure we're doing push-ups to emulate this but also training the plank and various other core movements to make sure that our abs and lower back and glutes are strong enough to hold that position for two minutes. Otherwise, we've got absolutely no chance of maxing out the test, which is where we all should be aiming for. It's a bit like if I told you to do, go and do the pull-up test, but you cannot hang on the bar yet. Okay, dead hanging is the first progression to be able to actually do a pull-up. You need to be able to hang for the pull-up test. You need to be able to hold the plank for a long time for the push-up test. So that's positional strength then. Positional strength mega simple, just making sure we can hold that position for at least two minutes, probably looking more towards three, three and a half in your max plank, if you had to do a max effort plank. Okay, third and final point on the Royal Marines push-up test then is technique. There are various things we can change about the test to get a better score without even getting any fitter, which is actually what we want, isn't it? Oh my God! We can get better scores without even improving our fitness just by tweaking little things. So the first thing is breathing. So when I go through this test, sometimes if I forget to breathe, I can start to fatigue really, really, really fast, which obviously isn't ideal in a test like this, okay? We need to be preserving our energy earlier on in the test and then when we get to 45, 50 reps and we're starting to struggle a little bit, then we can start to hold our breath and focus on other things. But early on in the test, we need to be focusing on our breath. So what I like to do is I'm at the top of the push-up, I'll come down and up, and then I'll breathe at the top when I'm static. So I'm moving down and up as fast as I can, and I'll breathe in and out at the top of the rep. So just like you would on a bench press, hold your breath, hit the rep, exhale. Okay, doing that for the duration of the first sort of 30 reps is gonna put me in a good place and have me have some good oxygen pumping around my body, pumping around my muscles to then carry me forward for, for the next 30 reps, hopefully, and, and be able to max the test out. The next thing is tempo then. So tempo is really, really important on, on these bleep tests, okay? You'll know this as a theme throughout all of these, these pull-up tests, sit-up tests, whatever it is, with this beep, the tempo is, is all important. So making sure that we're not just being lackadaisical in terms of how we move, drop into the floor really slowly, coming up really slowly. If you're doing that on rep two, three, four, five, then you're gonna start to get out of time with the beep and all it does is compound over time and it's getting worse and worse and worse. You're getting further and further outside of the beep and what by the time you get tired, then you can't get back in line with the beep. So we need to make sure we start as we mean to go on and we preserve our energy as much as possible. So what that means is dropping down and coming up as fast as humanly possible, making sure we get depth, but making sure we use the stretch reflex from the bottom of the bottom of the rep, bottom of the push up to get up to the top. So dropping down on the beep and coming back to the top as fast as possible. You'll notice when I do reps here,
that I am dropping down and coming up using that stretch reflex to get to the top of the rep. When I get to the end of my test, when I get to further into this test, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do that, but I'm going to rely ever more on this stretch reflex to get me out of the bottom rep, bottom of the rep, and then so I just have to worry about the top of the range. So making sure we move as fast as we can on the beep, and then you have as much time as possible effectively resting at the top of that rep to recover for the next next time you have to go down. So trying to practice that, trying to practice your timing in line with the beep to stay ahead of things before you start to fatigue and then start to fall behind. The next point in terms of technique then is where your elbows are going to be. So for the Royal Marines push-up test, your hands have to be underneath your shoulders and your elbows have to be tucked in. What that means is we're going to recruit a lot more tricep, hence why at the start of this video I was talking about tricep strength and strengthening through the dumbbell school crusher, all these kinds of things. So making sure when we're practicing the test, we are tucking our elbows in, showing the inside of your elbow to the front of the room to make sure it sends the elbow back where it needs to be and is tucked in nice and nice and tight to the body to emulate what we need to do when we get to Limston and get tested. So making sure we're tucking our elbows in and again using that stress reflex to come to the top of the rep. Okay guys, that is everything. So that is the push-up broken down. So the Royal Marines push-up test broken down into muscular endurance, how to improve that, positional strength, how to improve that, and technique, little nuggets that hopefully you can take away today, implement into your push-up test and improve your score. So let me know what you've got in terms of if you, if you test it for the first time, let me know what you've got. And if you've implemented some of these and you're retesting it, let me know how you improved in the comments. Like I say at the start of this video, if this gets 200 likes or above, then I will be doing this as a series. So I'll break down the sit-up test, break down the bleep test, etc. So this could be mega useful for any of you that are going through the process or are just interested in improving yourself in these movements. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.